Now let's start part two. We will introduce several basic command line to uh, enable us to, to do the configuration of the devices. So uh, before introducing the basic command lines, we will first introduce the format of a command. So typically for one command line, uh, if you want to input a command that has three parts. First is the command word, then is the keyword, then is the parameter list. So for example, this is a command. Actually, that means you want to display the interface uh, GE000 information, IP information. And then in this command, the first one display actually is the command word. You need to display something. And then IP actually is the keyword. What do you want to uh, display? And finally, the interface GE000 is the parameter list. They tell the system which interface you want to display. And uh, for several other commands, this keyword and parameter list cannot exist. So only with command word here, reboot means to restart a device. That's OK. Another important concept we need to introduce is, is the um, different view. So actually, when you log into the system, you first enter the user view. In user view, you can only do some view command, the query command. And if you want to configure the system, actually, you need to enter the system view and then enter the interface view or the protocol views. Then how to enter uh, from one view to another view, you can use the following command. So here is an example. After you log into the system, the first view is the user view. In user view, the view prompt is Huawei with the curly bracket. And in this user view, uh, it only provides the display command and the tool command, for example, the ping and telnet, but you cannot do any configurations in the user view. If you want to enter from the user view to the system view, then you need to use this command, the system view command. Then after you enter the system view, the view prompt will be changed into Huawei with brackets. And um, in this system view, you can do the configurations. And then if you want to configure one interface, then you need to go into the interface view by input this command, by input the interface name, okay? And here, if you do some configuration, then the configuration are not for the whole system, but only for this interface. And if you want to come back, then you can use quit from interface to system or from system to user view. User view only provides display command. And for system view, only provides very simple um, global configuration command. Yeah, and user view also provides some tool command. Now let's look at how to edit a command in the command line window. Actually, you need to use the backspace, the left curse key or the right cursor key. And also you can, if you, in, if you input an incomplete keyword, actually they will uh, tell you that, okay, this is incomplete or it is wrong. Uh, so here, uh, if you want to display something, you only input D, then they will tell you that, okay, this is an ambiguous command. Uh, you cannot input this, um, invalid command. To edit the command, you should also learn a very useful key, which is the tab. Actually, tab can help us to supplement the keyword automatically. So if you uh, enter info, then press a tab, it can automatically uh, supplement the whole command if it's only uh, corresponding to one valid command. But if there are more than one uh, valid command, Matching this, um, com matching this, this keyword. Then actually, you can using tab to find one supplement, or 
tab, press the tab again to find all the other matched keyword. But if you uh, input a wrong keyword, if you press tab, then the result will not change. We can use the command line online help to get help. You can also give part of the keyword and then add a question mark. In that case, they can list all the matched commands for you to select. The system actually is very intelligent. If you input some wrong message or error message, so for example here, if you input this command, actually here should be interface, right? If you only input if, then they cannot understand. Then they will tell you that, okay, this command actually is an unrecognized command. You need to correct it. So similarly for other ones, they will also tell you that this is a wrong parameter. This is a wrong command. Okay. Also, you can use this undo command line. So when you configure the system, but you, you don't need the configuration any longer, then you can use this undo to uh, to undo this uh, previous command. So you can use the uh, undo to restore the default configuration, or you can use the undo to disable a function. Just now you enable a function, and then if you undo that, you disable it. Or you can use that to delete, delete a configuration. So here you have configured this interface IP address, and then if you undo, then the IP address is released. Also, there are a lot of shortcut keys, which is very helpful. I will not introduce the details of this shortcut key, but you need to learn to use it. That would be very helpful for us to configure these devices conveniently.